Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, take mini DV tapes like this and transfer them to digital format, just with your camcorder and a few firewire adapters. Okay, so uh, starting off you're going to need your, a camcorder, so uh, like a mini DV camcorder that you can put these uh, tapes in. Um, and then you're also going to need these firewire adapters. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it on a Mac, so you'll need a, um, a Thunderbolt adapter, which goes to Firewire, this version of Firewire. And then you'll also need adap an adapter um, that converts uh, into this version of Firewire. Um, I forget the numbers, I think this is like 800 or something. Uh, put that back together. And then this cord just as the one that comes with the camera uh, you can plug it in there and then you plug the end of the Thunderbolt cable into your Mac okay so now that that's done you can um, turn on your camcorder to the VCR setting and if you're going to be doing a lot of these like hours of videos it's best to put out the screen if you can just so it uh, doesn't overheat or anything as you can see on your computer, uh, it, a thing might pop up. Other, if something doesn't pop up, you can just simply click this button. This also applies to the new iMovie. I prefer to use the old one, um, but it works pretty much the same in the new. I just feel it doesn't work as good. Um, this is about the only thing I use the old iMovie for anymore, and that's why I still have it. So in the new iMovie, uh, it's basically the same. You just press import over here, and then you can uh, import from the, the camera so it's basically the same it works but I just find the old iMovie works better okay so now you need to put the tape in the camcorder so press the eject button and this should open up now you can slide the tape in Okay, so now you can uh, just with the forward and backwards, you can select where you want to start your import, or you can just go all the way to the start or wherever you want. So now we're going to select import over here, give it a name, so we'll call this video test, and then when you're ready, you just click import. And then it's going to import this, so we're just going to let this import for a while, and I'll be back. Okay, so when you're finished, just simply hit the stop button, so it'll stop. And... Then you can select done, and we have all the video right there, uh, ready for you to use in iMovie. Okay, so that's it for now. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video.